culture is here. You see this baby? It is half West African dwarf, half boa. Yes, and guess what? It is our very first successful artificial insemination baby. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel and do that for me because as soon as I return, I'm going to tell you all about this artificial insemination project, the Semencial Learning and Development Farm in Baghdad. Cheers to the future, by the way. <laughs>
and I would, yeah, I think generally it was calmer, but she really, really carried it well. Kudos to our farm management here because, hey, they did an amazing job. Now, let me fast forward to the best. <laughs> so, exactly a week ago, as at this time of production, this baby is exactly one month old. You see the navel? Yeah, it's not even so, 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 so dry yet. Exactly a week ago, we got the news that the West African dwarf we started this project with had delivered. Now, my first thought was, were there any complications? <coughs> oh, shush it. <laughs> no, there were no any complications. The biggest surprise we had here as a farm was the fact that this mother was apparently carrying three babies. Yes, I've always told you guys we would be as honest with you as possible. All the glories, all the highs, all the lows we are going to share with you. She carried three babies, two females and one male. The delivery process itself, surprisingly, was very smooth. She pushed out all of the three babies all by herself. She didn't need any intervention. I am carrying one a week later because we lost two. This one is a female. So we lost one male and one female. Yes, she carried three, we lost two. Now, this animal is exactly a week old. Its birth weight was 1.7 kilograms. Ordinarily, a West African dwarf birth weight for, for a newborn, usually it's between what? 0 0.5 and 1. Rarely is it even 1. It came at 1.7, and exactly a week later, it is at 2.7. We are looking at the growth it's gained from its exotic father, and hopefully the hardiness from its mother, and that's why it's still surviving. Unfortunately, we lost the two, like I said, but we are looking and monitoring this baby right now. And at this point, permit me to let it go and suckle because see, right now it is the most prized animal right here. <laughs> go, go. Oh, it's so beautiful. But guys, <laughs> I told you this is a very short announcement. So that is the success we have right now. We are really, really monitoring it. I have no doubt that it's going to survive. It's really going to survive. And I'm doing this video at the treatment center because as I speak with you, there is another West African mama. I wouldn't go in there and disturb her. I told you the babies they are carrying, it makes them very calm. This mama right here is also uh, carrying um, a foreign baby. So the artificial insemination project, those of you who participated in the first ever uh, in-person boot camp we had here at the farm, Please confirm everything I'm saying under the comment section because you were here. You saw everything for yourself. The two females you saw, one has delivered. We told you the EDD was around this time. The second one, we are, right now I'm not sitting on edge. I think I'm confident. We are waiting for it to push out the babies. As to the number of babies and all of that, nope, I'm not going to spill out that information for you right now. I want to end this video uh, by announcing proudly once again that the Semencial Learning and Development Farms Project, it's embarked on artificial insemination, which is basically a technique used to, you know, help animals and even humans to reproduce. There is no natural crossing, basically. If you are wondering what it is, I'm trying to break it down. There is no natural crossing. We tap the semen because we are looking for some really premium genetic traits and we inseminate it into a healthy uh, West African breed. And hopefully it gives us a, an offspring with a combination of such powerful traits from both breeds. So to those who are worried that we are ignoring the West African breed, no, we are not. We are looking at the best of each of the breeds and then boom, we put it into one super offspring. My name is Nadia and I came to proudly announce to you that we have success with that fisher insemination project we embarked on. This is the second lady and I'll definitely let you know how it goes. We love you and you're always welcome to the Sementia Learning and Development. Let me also add Research and Experimental Farm in Sohom Abesim Dawa, right here in the Eastern region of Ghana. Bye-bye for now.